Make sure you understand that we're given log base b of 3 and we're given log base b of 5. We want to use this information to find log base b of 3 over 25. That means we've got to somehow use properties of logs to rewrite this entirely in log base b of 3's or log base b of 5's. So let's see how we can use properties of logarithms. This is log of a quotient, so we can write this as the difference of the logs. It's log base b of numerator 3 minus log base b of denominator 25. Now we're okay here then because we have been given this value, but we're not okay here. Notice though 25 is 5 squared. So I'll write log base b of 3 minus log base b of 5 squared. Now please don't think that you can just insert log base b of 5 and then square that value because in this term only the 5 is squared. It's not this entire logarithm that is squared. But when this 5 is squared, we can use a property of logarithms and take this exponent and move it out in front. So this is log base b of 3 minus 2 times log base b of 5. And now let's go ahead and substitute. Log base b of 3 given to us to be 79 hundredths minus two times, and then what were we given for log base b of 5? We're given 1 and 16 hundredths. So find 79 hundredths minus 2 times 1 and 16 hundredths. You'll find that's negative 1 and 53 hundredths.